Foss is known for their exclusive decorative stitches, including ribbon stitches. But on the Foff Creative Icon, it's not just one type of ribbon stitch like this one, which is the single ribbon stitch. There are double ribbon stitches and now triple ribbon stitches. So you'll find these unique stitches in the menu entitled techniques. So menu eight and menu 8.1 is single ribbon stitches, 8.2 the double ribbon stitches and 8.3 the triple ribbon stitches. So there's a couple different ways to be reminded just like I need to from time to time of how to get this unique technique started. So let's just go ahead and pick a stitch. Uh, you can go a couple ways. You can touch the question mark and touch one of the stitches. It will remind you that of the size of ribbon that's appropriate for this stitch. And then the biggest thing is to activate the uh, needle down function. So I've already done that on this particular machine. And then how to start. Start to sew until the machine stops and then place the ribbon in front of the needle at the same angle of the first stitch. So let's just take a look at what that, uh, and where that actually is. So you'll notice it will start where the plus is and sew kind of down into the right Right corner. Right here is where it's going to stop. And then I'm going to position the ribbon right there. At that angle is where everything will start to do the decorative stitches and then we'll start to flip and flop every time the needle stops in the down position. Another thing to recommend here is to always use the start stop button for this technique. That way you know that when it stops, that's when you do something. And if you're using the foot control, that can sometimes, you might not know when it actually stopped. Was it you, was it it? So again, the start stop button is what I'll be using for this particular concept. And then we'll have something that looks like this. You will find that we feature the ribbon stitches in the Faf Stitching Cosmos online course. This is just one of the places we did it. And yes, we actually did it on a curve. So it was a little tricky as we pivoted. We had to kind of twist it a little bit each time as we worked our way from one edge down to the other edge. But there's so many things more than just ribbon that you can use with this particular stitch. You can use rat tail, you can use yarn, you can use other types of trim. So I hope you'll experiment. And if you're interested in our Stitching Cosmos online course, we do tons of different techniques. Over 18 different presser feet are uh, featured in that course. You can check out links below this YouTube video for where you can watch 10 videos of that course for free. Here we've already played with some of the stacking stitches and also some of the radiant stitches that are built into this machine. Again, Faf is just known for their great exclusive stitches. So let's go ahead and start. We have the foot 2A on and I'm going to push the start stop button and let it stitch off to the side here. And then when it stops and the foot comes up, that is when we're going to place our ribbon at that same angle. Now I am going to lift the foot up just a little bit higher with the button and just make sure you only touch it one time because if you touch it again, that needle comes up. So this is where you're going to place the ribbon at that angle and make sure it's snugged well right up against the needle. So go ahead and uh, start stitching and then it's going to stitch over to this side. Now this is also a good time to have a line drawn that you're going to be following. So then that foot doesn't start to drift to one side or to the other. Now this is where you're going to take the ribbon and twist slide it underneath the presser foot. Again, hug it nice and tight up against that needle and then push the start stop button again and then just let it stitch. So I hope you'll have some fun with some of the thread choices that you go uh, that you choose and then in combinations with the ribbon or yarn that you're working with. So I think these are going to really show up well. Um, I do encourage you to do these techniques when you are focused. Uh, this is not the time to be watching your favorite uh, movie or um, having other people kind of in the room at the same time. Because if you do accidentally get off track or lose your location, 
you will find that it is a little tricky to get started once again. So just kind of keep, in, keep this uh, going. Uh, you can go as far as you wish. And then when you're ready, you can just go ahead and end the sequence. You can touch the scissor button while sewing here. I'll just do that. And it will then finish up and lock at that last little section when it's done. So the single ribbon stitches are fairly easy, but so are the double ribbon stitches, which is coming up next.